Zizla Kalonje had a lot to say about crime and violence, education, and more. This after a total takedown of Footloose. She killed Footloose! At the Mascam Village in Kingston on August 25. Oh, that me end us. Uh, the original junkard who seems to be getting traction in his quest to break into the international mainstream will be here. Real dogs will never give in. Through her music, one dance old mom is offering inspiration to other single moms struggling to make ends meet for back to school. An ancient discipline that's only now finding favor with Jamaicans. That could serve as a shot in the arm for back to school readiness, literally. The man behind the program comes to engage you all on our stage this week. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be right back. Anyway, we stand up, be a hot girl, then hear it. Just a bit with the alligator look so scary. So scary. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. educators and students take on the stresses of back to school. An ancient discipline that is only now finding favor with Jamaicans could serve as a shot in the arm for all in overcoming their challenges. Kevin Wallin is the man responsible for introducing the discipline to Jamaica and he's on our stage right now to engage you. Kevin sir. Blessed love. Welcome, sir. Respect. Blessings. Good to have you finally. Yeah, it's good to be here, but it's been a bit. Okay. <laughs> I must publicly congratulate you on, be, on being the first Jamaican to yes. represent the island in yes. wrestling, in yes. international wrestling. Yes. And Thank to you. ask you what it took to do that at 48. Ever since I was 15 years old, that's when I found the sport of wrestling. I've always wanted to represent Jamaica. And even though I grew up in Canada, and I actually did the sport in Canada. I had a Jamaican singlet that I wore, you know, I had a Jamaican flag on my chest. And so uh, it, the dream never worked out. When I was 15, it never worked out. So I finished high school without getting a chance to do it. Um, finished university without getting a chance to do it. But when I moved back to Jamaica, I, I saw that wrestling could be here. It could do very well here. And um, I figured that I wanted some international help because since as a sport is not here, I wanted to figure a way how it is that we could get the culture of wrestling, not just the sport, but the culture, the discipline, the love, what it takes to actually become a champion. Mm -hmm. So I figured that the best way to do that was to get back into wrestling myself. And so um, at age 41, I came out for a little bit and tried it, and then I went back in and said I wasn't sure. But then at age 47, something that said, um, it's time. And I started to prepare for the Commonwealth Games. I went to Canada, mm -hmm. trained in some of the top um, university rooms. And I realized that I still had it. And so uh, I decided to go full into it. And um, as I was getting prepared for it, there's a lot of things that came my way. A friend gave me a book that talked about a man that lived for 250 years. And I was interested in, um, in that because he, he apparently had a big, <clears throat> robust kind of built and very strong guy. And um, he walked every day. And, and so I was fascinated by that. So I read the book and realized that he did some unique things. And so I realized that I had some little pains and aches in my body, and I wanted to heal them up before the games. So for me, finding Chinese medicine and pidologin in particular was, was key. But you've been a coach. Yes. You, you're a coach. You're yes. a, a very accomplished coach. <laughs> it's a journey. Yes. It's always been a journey. So there was a time when my body went to absolutely nothing. I, just, I, I didn't lift any weights. I didn't work out. I didn't walk. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And I got to the point where it's like my skin was hanging off my bones kind of thing. I, was, I just got skinny, mm -hmm. and I looked like there was something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped one day, and I looked at it, and I said, okay, fine, so what is it that you really want to do? And I think about it from a career level and all of these different kind of things, but something kept on telling me that whatever it is that I'm going to be up to, I'm going to have to get this ready first. Okay. And so in getting my body ready for whatever it is that the challenge was to be, mm -hmm. I bumped into a lot of people along the way that had challenges and wanted to get their bodies in shape. And I was able to share with them what made the difference with me. Okay. And so what makes me unique as a trainer 
is that um, there's no doubt in my mind about the techniques that I use to train the people yes. that I train. Because you got me to do <laughs> a 14-day challenge. Yes, yes. Um, with this ancient Chinese, Chinese. discipline. Right. And uh, I, I was convinced that you, know, you knew what you were, you were encouraging me to do. So. Right. Again, reading the books about this 250-year-old Chinese guy, you know, and, um, and then as I'm looking at videos on the internet, you know, sometimes you look at one thing and then something mm -hmm. else kind of pops up related. And so I saw this thing pop up on my computer and it says, Spider Lodging. And at first I wasn't going to look at it because it's like an hour and something long video. And then something that said, just watch it. And I watched it and I saw it was amazing because this guy, he was talking about people that had knee problems for years and years and they couldn't get it healed. And he used this technique where he just kind of taps and he just kind of slaps the different joints. And his explanation was that there's a blockage in the joint and that's why there's a pain there. So what it is that you have to do is that you just bring energy to the area, warm it up and then it would loosen up the whatever it is that was blocking it, it would run out, which is, they call it poison blood or whatever it is that would be in the area. So once that comes out, then the area poison becomes free. Poison blood. Poison blood. You know, like when you get yes. like That's some kind of a damage, mm -hmm. the knee gets swollen. Yes. And so there's a blockage there. So when the swelling goes away, oftentimes it leaves just like a little bit of whatever, blockage. And okay. so that is what continues to hurt after a while because the knee doesn't sit flush. Mm -hmm. And so that blockage right there has to be removed. So when you warm up the area, you find that at the back of your knee, as a matter of fact, when I hit your knee, yes. you remember at the back of your knee, there was like uh, some, look like black and blue. Mm -hmm. And so that's whatever it is that was blocking your knee. That's what's coming out. And so if you recall, the moment I was done hitting you, your knee was almost, um, well. Good idea. <laughs> let me, yeah, let, 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 <laughs> let me not okay. say it. What made you believe, Kevin? In, well, in that thing, because there's so many things on the internet that, that people are, are, are proposing that are good for, right. for healing and so on. How, what made you believe this thing? Well, here, here's the thing. I'm always thinking about Jamaica from the level of, I feel like I have something that I have to give to Jamaica. Yes. I feel like there is something that, I, I, I don't know what it is, but there's a reason why I'm back here. And so um, I thought for a long time that it was wrestling. And then when I bumped into this thing, for me, it's just like wrestling led me to it. Mm -hmm. And so because I was getting ready for the games and I had these aches and pains in my body and I wanted to get rid of them, when I saw this thing, I wanted to try it. And I always had just like a little doubt in one of my knees. And so when I saw the thing, the first thing that I did is that I went to that knee. And I realized that, oh my goodness, only after a few minutes, the knee was good. I had this shoulder thing that I always, just always there. And then I decided to just so slap, just as simple as I'm doing here now. And the things, and then all of a sudden, it is free, but you have to be consistent. You have to do it enough, and it's going to sting a little bit. There's going to be a little bit of discomfort, but it works like a charm. So when I started to go through my body with this thing, I'm saying like, oh, my goodness, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the pida. The, the, the thing is pida lodging. So the pida part of it is the slapping. Now, the lodging side of it is where you lay down on a bench. Mm -hmm. You put one leg up, the other leg is hanging down, your arms are straight back, and there's no other time that you're perfect in terms of your alignment. Your body is perfectly aligned at that point. And so even if you have aches and pains, what that does, and this is what I've come to realize, that this is what sold me on it. So even if you have aches and pains and you feel a strain and you feel your, your legs feel like it's going to burst open and you feel your shoulders yes. feeling like they're yes. going to burst open, you stick with that long enough and what the gravity does is that it starts to slowly release you from the tension that has held you back your entire life. And it's not just your muscles that it's releasing, it's your mind, it's right. your mindset, it's a lot of things. Let's take a quick yeah. video of it right now. There we go. Oftentimes what you have is that you have people that will really bad hamstring problems and so the knees can't straighten out. So the leg can't straighten out on the post. So as they come, every time they come, you have to just take time, inching it and inching it and inching it. It's not a rush. It's been good. A lot of improvements. A lot of improvements. And People are saying the same thing too, that they're seeing improvements. So it works.
first time he came with walk up, walking stick and come up here. So after using a walking stick, the lady had to help him up. And after Kevin slapped him up a couple of times and put him on the stretch, he walked down, leave the lady on the walking stick. Walk her down, she had to run him down and catch him and say, you need you leave your stick. And I'm saying, no need it. Those are some of the faces that people are making when they do this challenge, <laughs> <laughs> including your school, of course. Right. Okay, Kevin, so you to talk about some of the testimonials because we're hearing some great stories of healing since you've started this, this thing, right? Eh? Well, look, um, let, let, let me first say, yes. you look absolutely amazing. Okay. You look incredible. And Thank so you, it might sound that way because of Jamaica where they are man and man, but you, you look amazing. And I'm saying that from the perspective of I knew what it is that you looked like maybe three weeks ago. Okay. And this is how amazing this thing is because we're not talking about something where we hear about. I hope my viewers agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they agree so, with you. So okay, yeah. there, there's what, what this thing does. And again, when you're in perfect alignment, whatever it is, so if you're, if you're hunching a little bit or if you have any kind of posture issues, what it does is after a time, it straightens you up. And all it is that you do, you just lay there and you just lay there for a time period. A young woman contacted me from Spanish Town and said that she heard me talking about this thing on the radio. And there's a gentleman that she knows, and he, he had a mild stroke, and he has you know, some issues. He walks with a cane and whatnot. And asked me if I could help. And I said, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes, well, I'm going to bring him. I'm going to bring him down. Where do I come? And so I told her where to come, which is Mountain Spring, Raskada, you know, our little space, the, the Raskada Wellness Village. They came in, the guy had the cane, the woman had him on the other arm, and he was like just trembling as he walked in, and he grimaced with every step he took coming in. And um, I saw him, and as I walked up to him, I'm looking him straight in the eye, and I'm saying, tell me what's going on with you. And he said, well, um, you know, my knee is giving me a warm time and it's been years and I've been everywhere and tried everything. Some back problems and some, uh, just like a whole bunch of different things going on with him. First day that he came, um, he did five minutes and it was rough for him to go through that five minutes because, of course, you know, it's a mental thing. And, um, but he did it. Mm -hmm. And then after he got up off the table, he um, sat down for a minute and then I asked him to stand up and when he stood up, I pied his knee for three minutes, which is I slapped his knee for three minutes. And after that, he, he sat back down. And when he sat down, he got up. And then he sat back down again. And then he got up and then he started to walk around. I watched him walk out. And he left the woman that he came with, standing with the cane, as he walked back to his car. And so that was remarkable for me. Um, but just in general, there's a lot of guys that are doing it now, like some older gentlemen. And, and the steadiness that you see in them, the uprightness. I don't know if you remember, there's another guy, David, big guy, um, came big, in yes. and he, he, he um, big guy and lost a lot of weight. So there was a lot of hanging skin. And um, so the other day I'm looking at his leg as he's laying down on the bench and I'm so like, where's that stuff? And it's amazing where his skin was hanging. It's just like, it's firm. And and, uh, why we wanted to have you on this show too, yeah. is because you say you want to do this, you want to see this happening all over the country. Yes. You want Absolutely. people to do it at home, I want these on to be their in. own. Yes. You want them to make up benches yes. in communities. You yes. want to go and show them yes. how they can do it free Absolutely. of cost. Absolutely. No intake of anything. Nothing. Just that little physical. Just lay down and put up your foot. And if you're 80 years old, if you're 90 years old, if you're 15 years old, if you're 20, no matter what the age is, any kind of aches and pains and all the kind of stuff that you have in your body, it can be healed. And the body is designed to heal itself. If the blood is flowing the way the blood is supposed to flow, your liver is getting what it's supposed to get, your kidneys are getting what they're supposed to get, your, just your organs are getting what they're supposed to get. Your body is not firing the way that it's supposed to fire. Okay, so it's how, do, they, how do people find you? Uh, and uh, since you want to do, you're doing this big free thing, when they ask, how so? Why don't you make it into a business venture? Look, there's, there's, there are enough people out there that will be curious enough to want to come and see me. Now, when you come to see me, 
then you know that's a different thing that I can There's profit. I can profit from that. But in terms of me showing you how to do it, I have no problems in showing anybody how to do it. And they can go away and do it on their own. And they can go away and do it on their own. If you have a bench which just require a piece of plyboard which is like two feet by five feet, three feet off the ground, and a piece of two by six right in at the mig light coming up straight, if you have that, you have a bench. And if you have that bench, you have a healing device in your home that, trust me, it will, you, 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 it will be amazing. So those communities, oh, it will that, the communities now that are calling you, not <laughs> yes. just in Jamaica now, worldwide right, right, right now, right, people right. want to know yes. how to do it and yes. want your advice or want to ask you questions. How did I reach you, Kevin? Well, here's the thing. Um, um, WhatsApp is probably the best way right now, which is my WhatsApp number is uh, 354. Uh, 5125 with the 876 in the front of it as well. KD Wallen on Instagram, um, Kevin Wallen on Facebook. Uh, that's and about so if they call you, what happened? You go there? So pretty much what it is, one, once a community identifies a space or whatever the case is, where it is that they can put up a bench. Like a central location in the community. There you go. Where it is that we can put up a bench, we can gather people, we can teach them how to use it. At that point in time, invite me. I'll be more than happy to come do the demonstrations, do whatever it is that I can to help you get it going. I'm right now, I'm partial to like rural areas where you have older folks who it's difficult for them to get out. I'm partial to those areas right now. So um, for the people in those areas, whether it be a church, we can put one in a churchyard, we can put one in a community center. But wherever it goes, I think this is, um, this is something that we need to do. I, I can't explain to you how great my body feels, how amazing, how light, how, and, and so the thing is, for me to have that and, and to not share it, I think that would be a sin. The one of rebellion for me mm -hmm. is just summed up pretty much exactly what it is that I just said. I found something that has made a difference in my life, and I want to share that. Loving when it's, um, loving even when it's hard. And it starts with loving yourself. Okay. So in Thank the, you, sir. In, 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 that, that means you're it's graduating. It's been sitting on my table, and I, I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be going away with it. There it is. Okay. The one love rebellion. The one love Join rebellion. It. There you go. There you go. So that shows that he's done the 14-day program and that, uh, oh, this is that my, he's done his thing. So you've graduated, sir. This is my certification. That don't mean that you stop doing it. You keep doing it. How well did Rupert Campbell do? Rupert Campbell, Rupert Campbell, go out with that thing, but he's still going through his 14 days. <laughs> so he go out with that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He might go out with that thing. It sounds like he's not a big student. <laughs> You're not very proud of his performance so far. Well, it's not about I'm not being proud of his performance. I'm yeah. not proud of his, his attendance. I, oh, yes. okay. That, I so when he shows up, he does what he's supposed I to do. I said something well, uh, was wrong. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Call but him out on, on, on TV right there now. There you go, Rupert out. Campbell. <laughs> I want to see you tomorrow morning, and he's, I don't want to excuse He's yourself. directing, so be careful why he messes us up right now. There you go. All right, Kevin, thank you, sir. Thanks Blessings. for coming. All the very best. See you at, at the, on the corner. So. <laughs> Rest corner. Okay. <laughs> All right, there you have him in the segment. Kevin Wallen. Wow. Stay with us, still to come. Oh, we live in, oh, we live in. Future Fambo. Sing the mother's all over. Pompute. <laughs> and later. Sister. Sizzler Kalonje. Wow. Oh, we live in, oh, we live in. Real dogs will never give in. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Music dancehall mom Pompute is offering inspiration to single moms struggling to make ends meet in getting their kids back to school. Every mother all that deserve ratings, but a single mom herself. The inspiration is in the form of a brand new song that Pompute is here to drop on our stage with two of her own kids. Two of her own kids on our set. Sir, how oh, you do? Know. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so comfortable? And what, because uh, tell me the names, tell me their names. Jazir, Kevon. Jazir and Kevon. Yeah. Welcome, guys. Kevon, how you do? You good? No, I'm good, man. Yeah, right? Yeah. But he's the bright man. <laughs> uh, he's going to be like his mom. Is that so? I think so. Kevon more lay back, more shy. Mm -hmm. Can you Kevon? Bird from Sunday to Sunday and no problem. Jazir, you might tell us, I'm to the butter, you know, in a jam, I'm to peanut butter. Jazir, different. Yes. 
clearly, different, clearly. different, different. <laughs> it appears, um, Pampute, that your own struggle, your own experience as a single mom inspired this song. Am I correct? True. With the help of Esco, Starstruck Studio. Yes. And Open Door Records. Yeah. You know the struggle real. I will go through to face a lot of things. Yes. When I'm pregnant with Kevin, it's kind of wicked. Big belly, running up and down from police, metropolitan. Mm -hmm. I try for self, I buy tree, chemise, tree, nappy. You know, couldn't buy a pack of a pampas. But I have to walk at night time and look 20 dollars for buy one single pampas. Mm -hmm. Bring him a town with me, put him in a box right between KFC and Singer, this one. You know, run up and down, look it just for make two ends meet. It's never easy for me. Yes. Never easy. And, the struggle still go on the same way, but I don't know. <laughs> the Almighty good. I can't even. Why well, me I tell you? I yeah. talk about my body is full of cold bump. And, and music is making the difference for you. Yeah, it makes a lot of difference. Make a lot of difference. Right now, the new song, Single Mother, it touch a whole heap of art. People just cry out to me. Yes. People say, Pampote. All these ears, artists, them ear artists are singing song, are the only song this. Them artists sing touching song, you know. Now get me wrong, but them say my song, that song in him, single mother, are the song where make them cry from its start to the end. All right, so you're going to perform the song for us live, but yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little piece of it now before the performance. Let's go to it right here. Sing a mother like myself, yeah. Who fight for give a baby love and shelter. Have a child for your man, you go through Elfa. Left with your mother as your only helper. Sing a mother's all over. Hold up your hand, no, no picnic, no prada. Only you know the burdens on your shoulder. Who could make your heart get cold? Watch all right, so that's a taste of the song, and she'll be performing it for us. I don't know if these boys will be joining in the performance, but I want to see what happens. So, that's it. That song is, is, is pulling tears. All right, I'm going to tell you the song. Yes. I'm going to tell you. I remember, I'm going to tell you some of the struggle. I remember one time I hear a voice say to me, say, you're going to kill yourself. You're going to see you alone and struggle with the two people. I'm going to say, kill yourself. I'm say, no, kill yourself. I'm not killing yourself. I'm going to tell you. Wow. Powerful, certain way. Maybe not a Christian yet, mm -hmm. but I'm powerful, certain way. That's why I'm worried when I hear people say, they hear vices talk to them and people hang themselves. I know what they talk about because they vice to talk to me. I run with a vice. They come too powerful and I'm too strong for that. Mm. I believe in the Almighty too much for me to kill myself. But the struggle is deep on me. I'm depressed. I go through a situation where I tell them I feel down, I feel lost. I talk to anyone. I want to fool my eye, but I overcome it. I overcome it. Um, remind us of your community, your, your... Which has land in my place. All right, so talk about your career, because now things are a little different for yeah, you. Right, different. Grow. Mm -hmm. You can't see the growth, you can't feel Look for me. Yes. You can't see it. And, and you're able to feed them. Yes. And they're able Sometimes it kind of mm -hmm. struggling, same way, because as well, some people that say, if you never eat song, you know, you never really get to show them like that and stuff like that, so... I can perform that way, really keep me see same way in a dance hall. Because I can perform, I have a couple of hits, and if I do it already, I can do it again. And the song right now, Single Mother, it hits some spot where I know say, that song is going to make me go through. It's going to make me go through because the song right now, they're all over the world. Yes. People are reach out to me. People from, lady from all Kenya. When you're gone to, mm. to do your work, um, what support do you have at home? Family them, my auntie there. I you know mm. Kevin a big you know for youth and we have my virgin sneakers boss in there too. I'm a family member there. Mine. Kevin, yeah, you're so different from from just here. <laughs> from just here. He's, you're the cool one and he's a, the more the artist type. But you can see that he wants to be like mommy. And do you have that kind of aspiration to be like a mom? To perform, to be an artist? No? <laughs> make him come down. Come. Okay, so we're gonna get. No. <laughs> okay, go on. Just make him go. go All right. So he's telling you he wants to be a police officer. 
Well, I come up a far away, come of age in mm. making decisions, so I have to work with it. Yes. Because I have enough youth right now, we have to age. Some of them have to face sentence. Yes. Some of them not even know them head from them foot, so I'm proud of him. And from where we coming from till now, I have to say, give, I give God thanks. Thank the Lord. There are people right now who don't even know them. What them picnic there? Them don't know. But you know, you must be doing something right, mm -hmm. Pampute. Because for him to want to be a police officer, wants to be um, in law enforcement, you as a mom, you're doing something right. So all your struggle and all your, it's not in vain. I, and that's the message that we'd like to give to all the women out there. Don't give up. Fight the fight. Are you working on anything that you want to tell us about? All right, then, right now, the single mother project, you know it's gone. We have a next one coming. We have sure we book for, for Trinidad. You know, Trinidad is a place home away from home. They never, they never send out to Pampute and St. Lucia. So. And enough of the things that we have come out, they have a surprise because they always bash me, say, Pampute, I want slack artists and this and that. And, you know, so we just give them. A, a different side of Pampute, and it's a work. I think they're seeing yes. your heart now. Yes. I see your face, and yes. I see your and public persona, and your... No, people never know, say, Pampute have that side. I think they're seeing your heart. Yes. Yeah, them not, them, not, them not know that side, they never see that side. They don't know, say, Pampute, say, hey, and, hey, and, you know? Them not see that, that mm -hmm. soft side, yeah, that calm side, yeah. Let me you laugh. Understand? Why you laugh? Not true. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> so, so true, eh? Right now, the message that I get from some people, all man women know were bad, tell me, say, the song touch them hard because they remember. I mean, never know say them man they could have cried. Mm -hmm. Them say touch them hard because they remember when their mother walk or wash people dirty clothes just for find food for him and him brother. Some people reach out to me, cry out to me. Right about now, a girl say, she call her baby father, she not even get him. She don't even buy her socks. I'm going to put up her message she sent me. Right away, somebody text me. Give me that girl link. I'm going to buy her everything. So, I know the Almighty at work. Sometimes I stand up and dance at night time. want to sleep and nah, get the good rest and stuff like that. I bleach. I say, yeah, I sang a promote, I sang a promote. But look at the song right now. It will take me to a different level. I never stand up nowhere and tell nobody to play a single mother. I not even tell nobody to say, Share this to these people, just take the song and just run with the song. So I just watch my God I work for me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ampu, this is so powerful. Really powerful. This yeah. is the only song I ever do when I cry and I sleep. I cry, I cry, I cry. When I hear it, I just cry. Right now, for profile, I don't know how. I don't know how I'm going to get the strength, but I know the Almighty will give me the strength for profile. Me. The song just made me full of cold bump. The anointing take me over like. I don't know. It's just, it's just different. I'm going to let you do that right now. And I, <clears throat> and I hope you can deliver those lines and uh, share the song with more women. Just not, not just in Jamaica, but everywhere. Well, well. We're going to give you the stage. Perform the song, and we know you're going to get the energy. Um, and you're going to get the, the support from the Almighty. Let's go. To all the single mothers out there, all if you have a youth, you may be the child of a single mother. You may be of a single mother in your family. Me say that, if you say this, the role of a single mother, it not easy for a woman. Open door records. Single mother like myself, yeah, who fight for give be a baby love and shelter. Have a child for your man, you go through alpha. Left with your mother as your only helper. Single mothers all over Pull up your hand, who no picnic, who no product Only you know the burdens on your shoulder Do not make your heart get colder Watch your then Every mother out there deserve ratings But single mother we go through beer things Frustrating Not to mention when it come to dating Boy, Who to bring go? Steady in go Hold up the thing, we can't let the thing go No, we are stopping now, take the string go we know that the king still around the kingdom. So me rate your woman, be a rating, yeah. Be the holy for months and the ask it 
capital To be your two cap plus five capital You can get an award card that special Hey! Sing the mother like myself, yeah Who fight for your baby love and shelter Have a child for your man, you go through Elfa Left with your mother as your only Elfa Sing the mother's all over Wall up your aunt, who no fit me, who no product Only you know the burdens on your shoulder Who will make your heart get cold The woman, them will keep the interest Time invest Work hard to give the kids them things that's best Know the remedies that the medicine's chest Deal with the pressure without showing that stress. Pump for some feed, homework and read. Uniform and things for the school season. Pray for them blessings and keep them from evil. Beat the odds so your pretty feel evil. Single mother like myself, yeah. Who fight for give your baby love and shelter. Have a child for your man, you go through Elfa. Left with your mother as your only helper. Single mother's all over. Hold up your hand, who no fit me, who no product. Only you know the burdens on your shoulder. Who will make your heart get cold? But single mother, we go through beer things, frustrating. Not to mention when it come to dating. Boy, who for bring up? Steady income. Who all up the thing? We can't let the thing down. No, we are slumping out at the string round. Queen without a king, still around the kingdom. So me real to woman, the rating yeah. For the holy pamuts and the hospital. To be your two cap plus five capital. You can get an award card that special. Hey! Single mother like myself, yeah. Who fight for give your baby love and shelter. Have a child for your man, you go through Elfa. Left with your mother as your only helper. Sing the mother's all over. Wall up your aunt, who no picnic, who no product. Only you know the burdens on your shoulder. Who will make your heart get colder? Thank you so much, sweetie. That's nice. Thank you so much for that. You know, um, wow. That's really a very touching song, a very powerful song. And um, I'm sure it's reaching out and reaching single moms everywhere. Thank you so much, Pompate. All right, stay with us. Still to come right here on stage, Future Pambo. Oh, we live in, oh, we live in. Oh, we live in. Yeah. And later, Sizzla Kalonje on our stage. We'll be back. Ja is my guide. No, I'm here for a reason. Yeah. Put my trust in the most I Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Original drunken master fumble. A street for junk that me end us. Uh, appears to be getting traction in his quest to break into the international mainstream. This is how we live in. Fumble is on our stage right now to confirm or deny. Fumble, sir. Well, 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 what you respect? So, is that so? Are you getting traction? Yeah, yeah, because you don't know, um, you can't do the same thing we do every year. So every year you have to do something different. So yes. that's why I come with the, the remix with me, Gucci Man, and you don't know. So, so it's a good vibe because he's a very popular artist, I'm popular locally and someplace in the state. So, you know, it's more fans and more everything come together. So you feel that you've exhausted the local Jamaican space? Never, never. You can't exhaust. But, you, but, 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 but what you're saying, you can't do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep doing the same. Thing. Yeah, so you have to, you have to, you have to The only way to go is up. up. And, and you're going up. And mainstream, you've always been eyeing mainstream. And it's more possible now, right? Yeah, because from the success of Roman Red Bull and um, yes. that song was so. <clears throat> Brought you some critical attention. Uh, I'm still getting booked on that song. Roman Red Bull is, is so crazy. Like, everywhere we go, people say, it's Roman Red Bull. It's crazy. Wow. So the traction from Roman Red Bull. Back to this, how we live in, 
-hmm. with me and Gucci is, is phenomenal, it's amazing. Okay, so you've been busy touring what, um, and recording as well? Yeah, recording, not touring, but doing the spot dates, because you have a lot of artists, they say that they go do three show in America for the weekend, and you no, it's not touring, it's spot date. Yes. You do like 20 shows, 15 shows, then... Then you're touring. Then you're touring. Yes, so you're so, not going to exaggerate. Yeah, but yo, my America, I tour, me. you're not touring, you're doing spot dates. Yes. <laughs> so where are you call, being called the most? Apart from Canada, it sounds like you're very America, popular in Canada. America, America, Canada, and um, Europe and them stuff. But you, you don't know, um, this man me like put together a package for myself. I like, when me like songs that they do, because... At the end of the day, you know, it's mm -hmm. about songs, you know. Yes. Yeah, you go there, you tell people that, yo, uh, yeah. me a bad artist, I'm a bad this, and me have this song. Find a hit song, a murder. So yes. I'm, al I'm always about a hit song. Okay. So I know this song is a hit song. That's so you're I'm... always in quest of renewal through a song? Yes, it has to be through a hit song. The same way that it was a song that brought you to our, our face in the first I'm place. A song. You need another song to make a resurgence. Yeah, the song of the thing. So you always, should always be in quest of a song. And if, yeah. you, if you look at all the careers, a song will always renew. There are some artists, you know, we don't need nothing, you know. There are some exceptions yeah, because to you have, because them have a catalog. Yeah, because already. you have an extraordinary, because you can have a yes. catalog, you know. Yes. But when you have an extra ordinary catalog, like a Bojo Bantan, a Bounty Killer, a Beanie Man, a Capleton, They shall a be called Sizzler. forever. Yes, because they have that, that, that and that arrow, that there was an arrow in dance hall that is being stamped and it, it will never move. Mm -hmm. You know, the biggest thing in a dance hall is 90s. Anyway, you put up and say 90s ago, 90s music a player, yes. murder. Yes. So, you, you just have to keep on working, you know? That's the defining era of dance hall, you say? I'm telling you. So many guys, many artists have, have been left so to speak, in the 90s. What do you say to them, Fambo? Have not renewed relevance since the decade passed. Well, I can't... You say what to them? Well, I can't say to who specifically, but I know that um, everybody, you have to evolve. Yes. You got to work with the time. It's like first time when somebody said to me, say, hey, you need a laptop, do it. You have to on the Instagram, you have to on the Twitter, you have to on the, the Facebook, because that's what music has become right now, it's, it's the internet and it's, 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 everything is visual. How much your ability to perform counts, um, Fambo? Because that's something that is not always evident among the new breed of dance allers. You're a fantastic performer. How important is that? Performance is very, performance, excuse me, is very important. So you gotta look at an artist like James Brown. You look at an artist like Michael Jackson, their music are phenomenal, but their performance is mm -hmm. it's, it's like when but you, isn't that why you, you, you keep getting calls for rum and Red Bull too? Yes. That you, you can deliver on a no, stage? No, you got to perform the song. Yeah. You can't go there like an old man and Rary and you got to talk to the people. Then. You can't be like an artist and be like, um, people tonight, with the, no, you got to look in their face and tell them, I'm here, we're ready to party. Are you ready to party? My energy is up. Take my energy, let's go. Let's tear this down tonight. Let's do this now. <laughs> so people be like, they'll be like, yo, I'm not feeling good, but who is that on the stage? He's fire. You do the James Brown walk, you do the Michael Jackson spin, and you do the talk, cut yeah. through joking or something. You got to entertain the people. Yes. Because I'm a dancer, I'm a singer, I'm a producer, I'm a writer, I'm a DJ, you know, I'm a comedian, I'm a radio host, I'm a TV host. Anything that do with music and entertainment, Pambo. Yes, sir. The, your, your tattoos are glaring. <laughs> Can you explain them for me? All over your head, your face, cross, all kinds of things I'm saying. Well, you know that um, tattoos is, is, is like, it's, 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 it's a work of heart because eventually all of these things came from Africa. Mm -hmm. We're Africans, you understand what I'm saying? So different, different tribe have different, different. I'm a Taurus, Mr. Yeah. Ruben. I'm a Taurus, I'm not an Aries. I'm born mm -hmm. the 24th of April. I'm just, I'm an eccentric person. I'm an artist, he's an artist. When you look for future fanboy, you see that. My dad, he's yep, <laughs> that. He's an artist, you understand? Yeah. So all the traveling that you go, some of them tattoo them, I do them in Belgium, I do them in, um, some of them I do them in England, some of them in So you're Canada. wearing it, who it, you are. It's who you are. Expressing yourself. It's, it's, it's a form of expression. Yes. All right, so this song, you say, this is the song that you think is going to push down the door. Yeah, this is the song I know. Yes. Well, let's look at it. Right? 
Fambo. Wow. Fleary. What's Fleary? Explain Fleary for me. All right. There's a rapper by the name of Rick Flair. Yes. See him? And I see him. Come me, me, from my youth, my father do farm work. Mm -hmm. So it means that I'm foreign minded. From my little youth, I want to go foreign. Yes. So I always watch this wrestling business already. And I say, hey, what do you want? About five, six years ago, I say, yo, that Rick Flair took me a cabbie. I have a thing with him. Swag. I am Mr. Swag. Done. What do you got to know? I just say flair. And then I just say flairy. And Ding Dang called me and said, I like the flair, but I use the flair. So I said, go out with the flair, and the flair reach a grace buckle now. Eat up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Flair, man. Mr. Flair. Oh, so you're, you're taking ownership of it. And there's not a word by the and name. And there's no it. issue. No, there's no issue. No issue there's with no. Ding Dang and Grace Mackerel. No. Okay. He called me and said, him like it, and the I use it. I said, use That's it. That's the way it should be. Kemar use it. Yeah, man, nice. So, music is just because Mr. Yoto always a create. Me always a sugar dough. You kidding me? I kid you not. And speaking of which, you, you're um, the junkin' man, um, uh, LeBron. LeBron. Yeah, man, I'm Bridget, man. Smart youth. Yeah. Yeah, smart youth. He said to me, say, um, Fambo, people are saying, I use your style. Me, I said, no, I never me. It's Professor Nuts. I hear with that style first. Time drunk, but time no fool. Never so much of a no bar stool. And, but I, am, I evolved from that style. So him take it now and he use it and it has work for him. So I'm so glad for him. But I tell him, say, yo, why I'm not using that style like that is because I'm more paying attention to recording. Yes. You understand? Because that style is an art by itself. So instead of being like, on the stage, like with the style, I like the like song them, like mm -hmm. song that you know. Okay. Because remember with the style, you know, you know, you know, you have no song, you just go up and say, So you're drunk, you're not drunk like me. You trash, you're not trash like me. <laughs> you, I'm mean, not business if you don't like me. You understand what I said? <laughs> the style, they can't. Okay. And, you still have it. You still have it. Are you? <laughs> Nobody can take that from you. Remember, Sammy said no. junkie dance, you know? Yes. This is a dance where a man build by himself. No dance, no the damn junkie dance. I'm going to come and say junkie dance. You know, if you drink for you, you just do something. Yeah. See? <laughs> Walk on, stuck on. <laughs> All right, so, so talk about the video now. This video look wicked, Reggie. I like it. Yeah, man, the video turned up. And I know the produced by White God Records. Yes. You understand? It's a virgin where. He used to come to Jamaica as a tourist. Mm -hmm. Then he used to take taxi gas to and everything. And right now, White God Record him, him, him evolve in some business, entrepreneur business. And I say, yo, I say, fam, I say, you see the thing? Mm -hmm. Spend money on the thing, come invest in the music. Because remember, I say, if you are my virgin, you know, and you make a food. I don't go tell yourself you go to camp to work. I don't know about house building. Mm -hmm. I don't know about plumber work. I know about music, coming out of music, we invest in music, spend the money for make make but some money. They must say no money now, make no music. A lie! Mm. So, yes, talk about you, them no money, no money, no music. A joke, find a hit song, and you say something. Where one when you ride in King, me think tough, act in now. Mm. Money in the music. Music <laughs> is nice and it's beautiful. Okay, so the single, right? <laughs> You reached out to them or they found you? No, How did sir. It come Reach about? out to go to them. Go to them, no one see nobody. Mm. Go to them, no one see nobody. <laughs> yes. Yes, man, I reach out with um, South Beach and um, me and the producer, girlfriend, went to um, uh, one of them nice party in uh, South Beach. Gucci man was performing. Mm. So I said to her, I was like, I need Gucci on the remix. And she just got to talk to him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She just got to talk to him and. Um, Ask him, talk to his boys and all those stuff. You know what I say? And then make sure she talk to him and tell him say future fambo and whatsoever. And then his wife is a Jamaican. You understand? Obviously she know the song Roma Red Bull. Pam she know junkin dance. So I say, hey, Gucci, make it up, man. You mm. understand? So So how do you feel about it now? 
Uh, you know, I don't really keep contact with them or talk to them because it's really DJ Khalid and my virgin. Yes. DJ Khalid used to come to Jamaica and oh, cut yes. dub plates and all those stuff. Mm. So we used to drive him, go up a bounty house, be the horse, sizzler horse, any horse, any way we do it, get the dub, we got four Clarence. Mm. Me and the next youth named Scary Kyle. So I was in Bahamas. So fully loaded. Yes, so I was in, um, I was in uh, Bahamas yes. on vacation, just chilling out, enjoying life and giving God thanks. You know what I say? And my virgin said to me, that's white God said, Khalid is down, down, down at his, his mansion. We need to get some ski bikes and go down there. And I was like, oh, really? He was like, fam, come, me know your hype. You know what, Ray Ray, but you know Khalid. He don't know me. So me now go get to go up there. I would go to Ray Ray and them send go call Khalid. And, them, and then the youth come back and tell them, say, um, Khalid says not there. I say, where you tell Khalid, say? He <laughs> said, tell Khalid, say, the man there, and the man there, dog. I say, tell him, say, future for business down there. He said, he, he tell him that. And <laughs> when that tell him I come back as some see boss I walk come and say, Fabo, you gotta get that bag. <laughs> you gotta get that bag. Oh, because wow. I say we are carrying yeah. the stage show them and carry him go all of the place them and all of the dance them and they look something. Nobody never really knew him because well, like Indian youth and he never he never yeah. saw chopped in. I remember those days. You understand? Late nineties and two thousand yes. coming so, up, yeah. I saw we knew him for a long time, so the love there where we show him from them time there and the respect there. Industry, we are sure about because it was, it was supposed to be me and Migos. Mm -hmm. So Khalid said, Yo, if the Migos is not uh, working, get somebody else. Why, why don't you try Gucci? Mm -hmm. And he said, With the Assault Beach, SLS, SLS Hotel, and them, them, the, the flyer, and we just said, We are going over there. And Fambo, if one man deserves to be in the international mainstream, that man is you. Thank you. You're a tremendous performer. Thank you're you. always about artists. You look out for, one, for, for others. You're kind and, and, and always um, a performer, yes. an artist. Yes, you're always you're an artist. just an artist. Thank you. That's what I want. Nothing to else. Nothing else. And we have to support man like you, Bedri. Bless up. We are sending you on with that video and we're asking our followers around the world to give it a thumbs up, listen, click, and pass it on. Share it. Future Fambo, how are we living? Bless up. Big up White God Record. Big up the whole production team. Big up the publicist. <laughs> Kidding me? Future. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you have it. That's him. Future Fambo. Wow, the original junk man. All right. Stay with us. Still to come right here on stage. Sizzla Kalonje has a lot to say about education and about crime and violence in Jamaica. He's next, right here on our show. No fire about the wall, huh? What? Man, I'm in the front. Fire, fire, fire. I miss a dude again, man. Kick your head. Put loose. Get mad. Get. Pull up. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Sizzla Kalonje had a lot to say about crime and violence, education, and more. This after a total takedown of the popular Footloose party at the Maskam Village in Kingston on August 25. Everybody get mad now! Sing the party! I hear it! I hear it! Yes, I say it's epic. Electrifying performance and um, the reception of the people is really great. We like that, and it's a special time this time of the year. It's good being here again, you know, for loose, doing it for the people. It's all about the people. Yes, yes. <laughs> The love that they've given, they've given you all there is what propelled you to this level of performance. Because I think the best part came at the last towards the end. Well, it's the whole um, situation of um, how we set the tracks because we want to give the people the consciousness, yes. then give them the dance hall to keep them um, remembering the whole vibration, the stigma, the show. So it is what it is, and we've been working like this, and the love and the energy from the people we accepted and would have to deliver in that manner. I'm in some places, I'm in the empire. 
I must give some shout out to your selector. Yes, Al Pacino. He was laser focused. Yes. On point all along. Yes. Well, it's the duty of the selector to produce the songs um, concerning rhythms for the artist, and it's for the artist and the selector to collaborate on the stage to perform for the nation. That's why they're all here. That's why we're here to perform, to deliver to the people. So we all got to be on point doing the work. No one can. Oh, yeah. Right through the ox. Look at yourself and say, hey, 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 hey. All right, you said something on the stage about violence. Tell it to us on this microphone. Well, we bash against um, crime and violence because it decreases um, the strength in our economy, decreases the mental capacity of the kids. When we have the crime and violence and the guns um, um, bursting at um, high volume, it's been like just penetrating the minds of the kids and this is a time where the kids need to study, get their education and once you have crime and violence, these things affect our children because they've got to go to school and they've been thinking that someone is going to snatch them from the, from the street, someone is going to rape them, someone is going to kill them, sell them apart, somebody is going to do them bad stuff. So we have to bash against crime and violence and that is one thing that the system set against us that is um, bringing us down as a nation of people. So Jamaicans, we bash against crime and violence in all sorts, all levels. Let's try your best, get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? No one is perfect but you can do the best you can to eradicate crime and violence. Education is the key and that is what His Majesty um, stresses about. So remember, Sizzla, education. Jump your commutes, go to school, see that day in the yet she got to be. Can you tell us about recordings and so on, tours that we don't know? Well, presently I'm working on an album. We haven't given it any name as yet. I'm always recording. And tours that have been um, beautiful so far. I went and I've started the first Amazon festival. We've been touring the Caribbean. We've been to the French Guyana. We've been to Guadeloupe. You know what I'm saying? We've been to um, St. Martin. And for the likes, we've been to a lot of um, shows in the States. We've been to California. We've been here and there, and just about anywhere. The people um, invited Sizzler to come and perform. I'm there. And and you don't know, Cesar Kalonji and G-Mac collaborating, making good music now. Askel, young youth, you know, the producing business, big of yourself. Agostown Judgment Yard, this community, Nannyville, is a very beautiful community. The people here in Nannyville, they grew me and fed me just like Agostown citizens. So I'm always here. Just the other day, the Crank Up team was in the Gala for the Independence. So it's all one family beneath, one roof of His Majesty. Just help to make each other great and help to make each other wealthy so we can eradicate poverty. Big respect on stage. So big of the is them now, we know. These words are the fine To all the woman writer Tell her to be fine All right, there you have him The man himself, the showman Sizzler Kalonje With words of wisdom For all to consume And that's our show for this week Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us Thanking you for joining us Do join us again next week for more On stage You don't know a pass, we have pass you we have to keep the players lively. Pass ya. Well done. Then now and then him. There is no time to burst. Some confessor. Martin, tell you to the man in So, the fire burn the wall up. Well, now them not burn. Fire, fire, fire. I miss that do not get me. Stick your head. Put loose. Get mad. Get. Pull up. Yo. What them say? I do never know. We have an answer. Hey, Bashuga, he clips off. Man, I make the press. Fire on. Well, yo, hey, up. So you think I'm. I said, well, right up. What am I doing? I'm going to be like that. So I got to the point. Everybody get mad now. Sing the party. I hear that. Alright, thanks for watching our video. You know what to do. Click, subscribe, and be on our stage. Always.